Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain epiretinal membrane because this can be a very common problem. In some estimates uh, they say maybe more than 20% of people over age 75 will have some degree of an epiretinal membrane. Now exactly what this is is a thin film that can cover over the retina in the back of the eye. So usually it's back in the center of the retina, which is responsible for our center vision. That area is called the macula. And a lot of times what can happen is that it may come just out of the blue, but there can be a thin growth or film of fibrous tissue as well as cells that covers over the front of the retina. Now this can also happen after an injury or after inf inflammation in the eye or after surgery in the eye but it seems like a lot of times it just comes up on its own. Now, when patients develop an epiretinal membrane, they may notice distortion in their vision where some lines and things that should look straight may look waved or curvy. Uh, they also may notice double vision in one eye from the membrane, or they could also notice that their vision is decreased due to the membrane. Now, when this happens, fortunately there can be treatments and we can refer to some of our retina colleagues where they can evaluate and see how bad the membrane is and then determine if it may need removal with surgery in order to improve the vision. Now most of these patients they do gain a significant amount of vision after the membrane is removed but because it can distort the retina and cause some changes sometimes they may not develop or return to 100 percent of the vision that they had before the membrane developed. Now when this membrane becomes worse over time, which can happen, other times it can uh, maybe just stay stable, but if it does become worse, it can cause thickening or swelling of the retina because as that film can develop and become uh, thicker and more dense, it can cause wrinkles in the retina, pull it up and stretch it and cause the swelling. Uh, this can cause leakage from the blood vessels at times and a couple of the names for epiretinal membrane, one is cellophane retinopathy. And you can imagine that because when we look inside the eye, that membrane can have a little bit of a sheen like cellophane. Another one is called macular pucker because it can actually cause it to pucker, curve, and get wrinkled. So if you have any questions about epiretinal membrane, please post. We'll be happy to answer them. And if we have a lot of interest, maybe we could get a retina specialist on with us to explain in more detail than I can. So hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.